Okay, well, once again, hello, it's Ron, Ron Carty here from the Paddy Expat Club, where we meet every Tuesday at the Hotel Barracuda. And as always, it's my privilege to interview the speaker, uh, another very interesting speaker, Ian, pa Ian uh, Pascon. Would you like to say hello That's to right. everyone? Hello, Ian Pascon. <laughs> hello, Patia. <laughs> Patia, okay, very good. <laughs> but interesting talk, development of medical cannabis uh, in Thailand, is that right? That's right. But you started off, um, not just how cannabis started, but how did you start? I found yeah. your own story very, very interesting. Oh, really? Yeah, please. Okay. I think I first like cut my teeth in Thailand in the medical and the plastic surgery department. Yeah, I was working in a plastic surgery medical group in uh, Chomburi. Yes. And there I started in the operating room. Interesting. So I was the guy with the camera yes. filming the surgery. Yeah, yeah. The first project I ever had was vagina reconstruction by micro fat grafting. <laughs> that was very, very interesting and unexpected. So I did not talk about that there in the meeting, <laughs> no, but I swear the first project ever it, given, we filmed like nine cases. And after that, I was, you know, I was able to handle all the surgeries that we would be filming in the future. But anyways, I started in the surgical room. Um, we would film surgeries. We made PowerPoint presentations. Interesting. And I just wrote speeches in English. Yeah. And I've always supported the doctors in the English Good. language. Yeah. Um, and then I started, and then I moved into patient management. And then um, I became a general manager. Now we, you know, I, I own and operate Fresh Medic and Jump Team. Yeah, Patrick. of course. So, Interesting. Yeah. Very good. But you also mentioned briefly, you've got this huge family. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. talk about that. Yeah, my Thai side of the family. I have seven aunts, five uncles, 142 <laughs> cousins. <laughs> First, second, third. We're on third cousins now. Yeah. And um, yeah, uh, there's a lot of us. And still here. smiling. <laughs> hey, very good. Okay. Yeah. But you started talking about anti aging, which mm -hmm. is very relevant for our group. As you know, expats, the majority are, are what I like to call mm -hmm. mature. Okay. So you spoke about yep. anti aging. Right. And, and what I mean by anti aging is you're not going to age, but it slows down the speed of aging. Yeah. That's really what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, but these are just treatments that are like intravenous vitamins excellent um you know things that are natural that's to the us. important one that's the important yeah. one yes um and nutrition yeah um, things like that we're also exploring things with like prp and stem cells mm. nowadays yeah, the one. technology yeah. around stem cell therapy yes. um so i think that's primarily what we do in the clinic we're also doing aesthetic treatments these what? ladies need their botox they need their filler they need it now <laughs> they do okay and some of our <laughs> members do it as well so <laughs> I think these is like, we do this a lot, and yes, medical cannabis since 2018. Interesting. And then, yeah, you, you mentioned the cannabis history in Thailand, and yeah. DTAM, you mentioned this DTAM. DTAM. Well, that's how it started. Okay. So see, around when the medical cannabis was first put in the country, yes. it was controlled by the Thai traditional medicine ah. doctors. Because in Thailand, these doctors have been using cannabis as medicine since King Rama V. Whoa. You're talking centuries ago. Yes. They have a book of medicines. That it has, you know, cannabis is one ingredient of many, but cannabis has always been banned from being used. Interesting. So when, in 2018, when those laws were first, they opened up the ancient scrolls. Yeah. And they said, let's reformulate some of these medicines according to the ancient recipes. Right. So that's really the first medicines available back then. And yeah, DTAM, like you're talking about, yeah. stands for the Department of Traditional Applied Medicine. Interesting. I believe. Yeah. And, um... You know, they're still available today, but that was maybe the first medicines ever in the country. Um, at that point, um, the government pharmaceutical organization, the GPO, got involved, and they're more modern medicine. Right. And so they're kind of using more internationally recognized type medicines like isolates oh, okay. and cannabis oil, CBD oil. Yeah, yeah, You've yeah. heard about maybe. Yeah, of course. Um, so then they kind of made a more modern line of medical cannabis. Yeah. And um, that's how that developed. Okay, and then that, and I always got to talk about things that I found interesting. I like yeah. the way you related it to Thai food. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I'm not quite sure whether that was just for our benefit or... Well, it's the educate, you know? Yeah. I mean, you got to kind of make it more simple for people to understand. Thank you for that. Right? <laughs> I mean, okay, so this is how we break it down. When, um, you know, the modern medicine nowadays, they have isolated the THC, they've isolated the CBD down to these chemicals, right? Yeah. Now, this is like a peeled shrimp mm, ready to it. eat. That's okay? it. Okay? It's a peeled shrimp ready to eat. You know, it may have the... You know, no tail, okay? Yeah. There's no tail on this shrimp. You just peeled shrimp ready to That's eat. That's it. Right? So it's the same consistent dose every time. It may be plain. Yeah. It may be boring to eat, but it's just the pure protein of the shrimp. Okay. okay? That's really what the modern cannabis medicines are when it talks about isolated CBD ah, and okay. THC. Okay. Now, the traditional medicine, 
that we started with back in the day, the DTAM and the Thai traditional medicine. This is more like Tom Yum Gung. <laughs> this is more like the soup. Okay, you know the yeah, soup yeah, in yeah, Thailand, that spicy so, soup? Yeah, now you've got shrimp in there, Yeah, yeah. but the shrimp has the shell on it. That's it. He's got the that's whole it. shell that's here. It. He's also got other herbs. That's it. You have other spices. Yeah. So the Thai traditional medicine is more like a Tom Yum Gung. The modern cannabis medicine is more like a peeled shrimp ready to eat. Interesting. So, so a yeah, no, that, that was a good way of describing it. Actually, <laughs> yeah. very, and then, because I'm a little bit concerned about that, but another thing mm. I believe was relevant to a lot of people, you spoke about um, sleep disorder. Mm how this is very good for sleep disorder, which affects right. a lot of people. Right. And see, Ron, there's a lot of different health conditions we've been treating with medical cannabis, yes. but we found sleep and insomnia to be maybe the most significant Agreed. across the board. Agree. Like as in a positive yes. um, result. Yeah. Um, now there's different types of sleep problems. Um, some people have trouble initiating sleep. Other people have trouble staying asleep. Yeah. Um, so yeah. there's, you know, there's different things about sleep that they so. talk about, and that's where we have these different cannabis medicines to address the different types of sleep. So really, you've got something for everybody. You finish off talking yeah. about the difference between, uh, was it products and medicine? So if you can just summarize yeah. that and then say, really, what you can offer uh, our viewers okay. and the rest of our... Well, uh, sure. Yeah, please. I mean, I think throughout the course since 2018 until now, we've collected enough data to know um, general guidelines of dosage for certain patients and conditions. Yes. So see, like for you, Ron, I don't believe you're using cannabis every day, okay? I, Smoking the bong all no, day long, right? No. I didn't think so. So see, a guy like you, I'm thinking you need to use, start with 5 to 10 milligrams. Wow. Okay? okay? Or maybe up to 20 milligrams yeah. here, okay. all right? So see, we would recommend maybe a guideline of 20 milligrams mm. up to here. Now you have the option to get that 20 milligrams across edibles, maybe an ah, inhalation, okay. yeah. maybe an oil. Yes. So there's different methods of consumption ah, to okay. accomplish that okay. 20 milligrams. Okay. That's kind of how it has evolved. Because Interesting. back in the day, it was only oils or tinctures yeah. you could only use, but now as it's developed, there's different products. So you can accomplish that 20 milligrams in different things, however you want to maybe mix it in your tea. Yes. Maybe you, maybe you like to do like a little smoke or maybe no, you okay. like to use like an oil under the tongue. Yeah. You know? So there's uh, options now. No, very yeah. good. So look, for everybody, sure. I've got to say, uh, really, uh, your contact details you can get via the Expat Club. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say, uh, on behalf of everybody, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Right? Yeah, thank you uh, very For everybody much. listening, come along every Tuesday. Come and join us. Mm -hmm. Camaraderie, we always talk about good breakfast, good food, but more importantly, good speakers. So uh, thank you very much. See you next week.